Police say they're one step closer to tracking down the man wanted for killing an innocent Brooklyn man on the subway yesterday. Detectives have now released images of the suspect as a member of the victim's family is speaking out. CBS News John Diaz joins us live from Canal Street subway station with more on what she is saying. John. Chris and Mary, the sister of Daniel Enriquez, telling me that he had just started to adventure outside of his home more often after isolating for so long during this pandemic. She tells me that he was proud to be a New Yorker, that this is where he made his dreams come true, and tragically, this is where it all ended. My parents are both from Mexico, and they came to America for a better life. So their children could have a better future. But at the age of 48 years old, Daniel Enriquez's life came to a tragic end. His sister telling me over the phone the Park Slope Brooklyn man was like a surrogate father to her kids. It's not a violent person. Early yesterday afternoon, police responded to the Canal Street subway station around 11:45 to find Enriquez shot in the chest. He later died at Bellevue Hospital. A man with a gun walked in with the intent to kill. And out of all the people, he chose my brother to shoot at close range. Authorities say the shooting happened on a Q subway train as it was crossing over the Manhattan Bridge from Brooklyn, and the alleged gunman was pacing around before the shooting. They're calling it an unprovoked attack. I want this man to turn himself in and to get the help that he needs. The NYPD and Mayor Eric Adams says they're pushing more officers into the subway system. And new surveillance images show the alleged gunman wearing a face mask with the hood of his sweatshirt up. Today, the MTA chairman showed those photos at a committee meeting, confident the NYPD will catch him. Our hearts go out to all New Yorkers who are feeling terrified at this moment. Before yesterday, we were starting to see stats indicating that even subway crime was headed in the right direction. This was all before yesless, sense, yesterday's senseless shooting, which is an incredible setback. Tomorrow marks six weeks since 10 people were shot on a train in Brooklyn, and the recent crimes have some commuters feeling uneasy. Usually when I ride the subway, I'm always keeping my, I'm always keeping my head on a swivel now. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I get on the trains, it's like I always got to look at each and every person. I'm starting to get where I'm not feeling safe to take it anymore. And a loud look back out here on Canal Street. As you can see, authorities, they now have reward posters hung up here. Reward of up to $3,500. Uh, police tell us that no other passengers were injured in yesterday's shooting. The mayor is saying that there is nothing more horrific than losing a loved one to a violent act. We're live this afternoon from Chinatown. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.